Hello mate, in this video I am going to compile Redmi Note 7 kernel using CLAN. You can follow this tutorial for any other device, basically for new ARM64 devices. I am building the kernel for Linux US, so check out the device name and processor name from the official Xiaomi repository and download the LOS kernel source from Linux US repository. Here we can find that uh, the lavenders processor name is HDM660. So now go to the Linux US kernel source repository and find the HDM660. In some other repositories, the kernel source is named as per the device's code name. So don't forget to find through the code name if the kernel is not available by its chipset name. You can clone the repository or download as zip. I am downloading as zip because it is smaller in size and downloading is also faster than cloning the repository. If you are using a stock ROM, then you can also download the original kernel source and compile it for your stock ROM. Now we have to download the toolchains. I uploaded the toolchains in my GitHub repo. I built a Docker container for compiling my kernels. So I am just going to copy the kernel source in my Docker container. Docker containers are easier to handle and also save a lot of time. I will upload the container in my Docker repository so you can download and start building kernel without worrying about dependencies and libraries. After downloading the kernel source and toolchain, extract them and then we will write the build script. Don't forget the path where you extract them. Installing Tmux for multiple terminal sessions in a single terminal. You can write the build script in any text editor. Basically, it all depends on your comfort. Now, I split the terminal and CD to kernel source. I'm using Vim to create the build script. Now, in first terminal, find the default kernel config name of Lavender and put it in build script. Here we see that the default kernel config name is lavender underscore dev config. So just mention it in your build script and that now we have to export the path of the toolchains. So just cd to the toolchain directory and put every toolchain's path to the build script. And also don't forget CLang triple parameter when you are building with CLang. Now our build script is completed. Let's jump to the final step where we compile our kernel. Now sort the build script to enable all the parameters in our terminal environment. 
create an output directory and execute my command with config to prepare the source for compilation and don't forget to put cc with make command when compiling with clang now execute the make command along with menu config to make changes in our kernel at the end execute make to compile the kernel and don't forget to execute like button and start service subscribe